Hey, next stop Macquarie Fields. So we've switched trains. We've now jumped off the main train, the country train that got us all the way back from Bargo into the city of Sydney. And then we're gonna, I'm taking the, now the intercity train and Tad is gonna meet me at, of all places, the War Memorial on Anzac Day. Now, I was waiting for the train up at Bargo in the middle of nowhere. For half an hour, I get on the train. Turns out I got on the wrong train. The guy told me, you're going on the wrong train. Where are you going? I said, Campbelltown. Wrong train. So I ran over to the other side with this sled. Now, this sled weighs 100 kilos or 220 pounds. And I'm this dragging this thing. Is... It's got wheels, obviously, which is a relief. I drag it all the way up the freaking crossing of the bridge over to the other side, back down. I run as hard as I can. My heart is about to beat almost hitting Sydney before I even reach it. And I make it to the train before the doors close. It is a movie scene. I'm telling you now, all of it over a piece of string. A piece of string can stuff up our ride. But you know what? Tad, the awesome Tad, the brother Dan, is taking a day away from his awesome duties, studying and becoming a genius to pick me up at the War Memorial, lest we forget, and I really mean that, Anzac Day, if it wasn't for them, I Who wouldn't be closing? here Please being mistreated by so many people. No, but but seriously, it is it is a big deal. They gave up their lives, man. It doesn't matter what we go through. I, we get abused, we get mistreated, and if anyone's read the book, you know that, unfortunately, in the competition of being abused, I'm up there. Now, that is not a good thing. It's nothing to be proud of. But at the same time, these people gave up their lives and their families lost them. Now, I know that when I almost died before my father found my body to revive me, my mother was a different person. I mean, she sat by me when I was in the coma for two days. She didn't move. Now, keep in mind, my mother is a very, very, very strong woman, a very successful business person. Taking time away like that was a very big thing. So if that's how she felt, how did the families feel? You know, who lost their people in a war for what? So that's the story. Anyway, Tad will pick us up. I'm going to get this repaired, whether it takes an hour, a day, a year, I don't care. It's going to get repaired and we're going to go back to Bargo by train and I'm going to keep on riding from there. And if it breaks down again, I go back and fix it and come back again. I'm not going to let this stupid thing get me down. It's not going to happen. We're going to make it to Canberra because everyone who's already donated, we're now up to 1,425, I think. Plus, I got personal donations, like like 50 bucks or something, which was freaking amazing. So thank you so much. And I'm going to be working and driving buses so I can save up a bit and use that for accommodation to go down. And uh, we will make it, man. We will make it. We're going to do this for autism. As I said, autism awareness. Now, don't forget, gofundme.com forward slash gabsmacked3. G A B S M A C K E D three. Okay. GoFundMe.com forward slash GapsMac three. All of the money that GoFundMe gives us, it's going to getting the books at cost price, and we're going to give them to all of the autism foundations that will take them for mothers with autistic children. That is the plan. That's what we're doing, and it's going to happen. All right, guys. Love you all. Until next time.